So a suspect, Ayomide Adeleye, a 200-level philosophy student of the Olabisi Onabanjo University, OOU, Ogun State, has confessed to killing Christiana Idowu, a 300-level student of the Federal University of Agriculture, Abiokuta. That's for now. And according to the report, Christiana had left her home in the Italua area of Ikorodu, heading to the University of Lagos in the Yaba area of the state, where she was observing her industrial training before she was abducted by the kidnapper. So this story broke, and um, for me, it's really a painful one. If you check the, you know, the incidents, how it happened, how it started, she was just being abducted, and by the time uh, they had reached out to her family, they said they should pay, I think, three million. Three million started from three million. Those ones kept looking for money. They negotiated and finally paid about three hundred and fifty thousand naira. Yet. Yes she was not released, only for them to realize that uh, the girl was killed. And by the time the suspect was caught, uh, he confessed to killing her and burying her in his house. compound. Father's house. Father's house. Shallow grave Shallow in his father's grave. house. house. Then they also traced his story to the fact that he had already killed somebody else, I think an ex-girlfriend at some time, and then his, his sister, sister, his sister also miraculously died or was killed mm -hmm. by him. This is a young Man, 23, 23 years old. 23 year old. So my, my question is, how, first of all, when you heard the story, what came to your mind? And how did we get to this point? I just feel that there's a lot of, um, it's, it's, social media has helped us to see more of the level of decadence in our society. Yes, there's a lot of decadence in our society. There's a lot of desperation in our society. And it's important that as we publicize the crime being committed, we also publicize the punishment, punishment being meted yes, out to them. True. Because it seems like people have felt they can get away with doing these things. Or some, they've seen some people that sort of got away with it. So we're now seeing more copycats, people trying their luck, people kidnapping their younger ones, kidnapping their parents, kidnapping family, like just any way to make this quick buck. So I'm of the opinion that we cannot solve the problem by just demonizing or complaining about it. Mm -hmm. We will solve the problem by creating a stiffer um, penalty, penalty yeah. for it. I remember when I was much younger, really, really young, and Babbage was synonymous with public... Um, public hanging. Public gunshots, mm -hmm. hanging, killing of yeah. criminals. criminals. It was a way to... <clears throat> Put it out there that this is not who we are. If we catch you, we will kill you. And we're going to kill you publicly. You will be put to shame. And your entire family will know because be they call out their name before killing them. So they know these people are being publicly... Um, justice is being meted out on a public level. And it will send a message. It will, it will send a wave to, the audience, to the, everybody watching that this is not condoned. If you are caught, you'll be dealt with. It doesn't mean it would stop it, but it will reduce the prevalence. It is worrisome for someone this young... Mm. To be doing to be to, to resort to doing things like this, it makes you feel like is it that all through secondary school we, we were not exposed to our creative ability? Mm -hmm. You can create this money. How much? Three hundred thousand naira. Three fifty. Three hundred fifty. Even even if it is a three million, there are people that tell you they made their first million while they were it's in their hundred level. Yes. yes. From creating solutions, creating businesses. So I I feel. We need to, one, talk to ourselves again. People need to share their genuine story and then publicly punish those who are caught doing things like this. This is not us. This is not who we should be. Hey. And this is not who we it's are. Economic, mm. it's economic. And it's not economy. It's just crime. Crime is crime. crime. Yeah. It has for me, um, so for me, when I heard this story, I was actually hot because she didn't do anything wrong. Because from the story, they said she was going back home and then rain. It started raining and she was looking for shelter. And that was how this guy, and she, she's known the guy for a very long time. Wow. So that they go to the church, they go to church together. They go to the same church. And again, I think, uh, that boy goes is to it church. the same school? Yes. yes. In fact, one yeah, in the same caption, he wrote a boy Jesus loves. Yes. So if they go to Jesus. church together and everything. So she, he, he accommodated her, you know, ah, come, oh, it's raining. And then, he, you know, he housed her and everything. And that was weird. He took the opportunity of killing her. So I'm now thinking, I'm now looking out for where she, what did she do wrong? Mm. To even, how did she deserve How this? did she deserve this type of treatment, you understand? So this boils back to the fact that when I now heard the story, I heard that he killed his ex-girlfriend and then he killed sister. his um, sister. First of all, the thing that came to my mind was his mother. And I was like, the mother knows that this is the kind of child that she has. You understand? He killed his sister and he's, nothing happened to him and he's still in the house. I'm just wondering the kind of the way the relationship is in the home mm. with him, knowing that your son, you know that your son is this kind of a person. Do you understand? And he was not brought to book. Nothing happened to him until he committed another. So he has killed the third one.